Hey, this is Chris with Beer Town Austin. Welcome to another episode of Over a Pint. I'm here at the Flying Saucer with Todd Ussery of Breckenridge. Hey, Todd. Chris, how you doing, man? Good. Uh, here you go. Cheers, brother. Yeah. All right. Mm. Um, I've got the uh, I've got the Breckenridge uh, Lucky You IPA, and what is that? That's uh, our latest creation, Lucky You IPA. And, I mean, um, what do you have? Oh, I've got Christmas Ale. I'm sorry. Okay. Christmas Bre Ale, our winter seasonal. All right. Good. Okay. This is um this is good. And uh, oh, hey, I th this is new too, right? It is. New. Yeah. Hey, oh, you're here. Why don't we go ahead and talk about that? You want to tell me a little bit about the new beer? Sure. That is um the latest addition to the family. We've got um 13 beers that we're doing year round, any given time. And this is uh like we say, it's this is our. We have 13 children we love for different reasons, and this is the latest one to the litter. And um, cool beer, the style IPA, because of its growth and because of what it's doing in the industry, kind of um, spurred us on to do this. We have our 471 IPA, right. which is a big 9.2% double IPA. I'm and a then, huge fan of that, by the way. Well, thanks a lot. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, that one's kind of over the top as far as alcohol goes. Um, and it, not so much a session beer. We need an IPA kind of to fill the void between our pale ale and that beer. So we wanted to do that, first of all. And second of all, we wanted to do something kind of community-oriented. So Lucky You is a beer that was made by the Tivoli Brewing Company in Denver, Colorado, the Tivoli Union Brewing Company, mm -hmm. which was there from 1866 to 1971-ish. Um, anyway, they made a Lucky You Denver Special Bitter, and that's where we got the name from. We went to them and got permission because now that's a student union for um, a metropolitan urban campus for Metro State, University of Colorado, Denver, and Colorado Community College. The, the, student, the old brewery is? The student union is in the old brewery building. Okay. The oh, kettle's wow. still there, the mash tun's still there. It's, <laughs> it's really cool. And the old brewer's lounge is still there, and that's now a student lounge and stuff. So we got permission, and we're giving 5% of our net profits back to the, um, the, the Tivoli Higher Education Student Union society to preserve that building to keep paint up and to keep landscaping up and whatnot so okay um yeah it's community ale as well but um so you want to give me a little bit of the uh the specs on this you bet 6.2 percent alcohol by volume um traditional american india pale ale if there's such a thing yeah. but um we use seven hot varieties in this one wow. and i used four that i'd never used before and i'll give you a couple of those okay um apollo Right. Amarillo. I'd never used either one of those two before. I'm a huge Amarillo fan. Yeah, you got to be careful with Amarillo because yeah. it's high on the alpha yeah. acids, the scale, and you don't want, you know, sometimes I think if you use too much, I know this because of trying this yeah. beer. We worked <laughs> on this beer for about 18 months, but, um, you know, you can go over the top with that and get yeah. some really lingering, biting bitterness. But um, so we were careful with the, with the Apollo, but um, all in all, it came out real well. And using the seven hops, the goal there was to create kind of a hop waterfall, okay. a cascade of earthiness, um, floral citrus and some pine notes as well yeah. so um, kind of cover all the hop bases we we're trying to do that yeah but have it finish out clean and have it be right. drinkable highly yeah, drinkable yeah. and and you know a beer that you could have more than one yeah that was the goal with lucky you yeah i think you guys accomplished it i appreciate you know, I, that i uh, went out and got a bottle a couple weeks ago when it first came to texas and um all i've had before that was you know your 471 and your pale you know, so I, I think it, you know, like you said, I think it really fills the gap, you know, because I, you know, I love the 471, but, you know, like I'll have two of them and then go home and drink the rest. Or uh, actually, I've got a friend who's got a kegerator and he was getting uh, 471 kegs put in his kegerator in his living room. And uh, that'd be what, just sit, hanging out by himself, pounding draft 471s. I don't know, but <laughs> well to you, Jimmy. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't you didn't go out to his house and plan on coming back that night. Yeah, sleeping bags at Jimmy's. Yeah, toothbrushes. Anyway, uh, so um, also we've got uh, zoop, uh, this guy right here. This is really special, and uh, if I weren't afraid to cuss on a video, I would about it. But I'm I'm not gonna. In it, so this is the uh, this is your oatmeal stout on nitro, right? Correct. Yeah. Oatmeal Stout is the first beer that Breckenridge Brewery ever brewed, and it was uh, the first beer that came off at our brew pub up in Breckenridge. And um, that first one that came off was kind of gnarly. It was chunky and it was uh, unfiltered, and it was the first beer that we ever made. Um, it'd be 20 years ago this February. So, um, well, hey, happy, happy birthday soon! Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> and in paying tribute to that, we decided to to uh, put the beer on nitrogen, and it's only available in eight accounts in the world. 
and this is wow. one of them. Flying saucer. Right here. Austin. This is one. Yeah. And um, also, they have other beers on nitro. So uh, come out and get them, because you should. They're good. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> no problem. Just um, yeah, it's our it's our first beer. It's our oatmeal stout. Delicious. Lots of roasted character. Lots of chocolate character. Um, I think it's got some toffee flavor as well, mm -hmm. and it's such a different beer on nitrogen. Than it yeah, is definitely. Yeah, yeah. And this is something that is, you know, it's really, really cool. Um, you know, because you know, you go and you hit up the the breweries and brew pubs in Colorado and whatnot, and almost all of them have a nitro tap. You know, and they'll have something that you can try there in the brewery on nitro that you can't really get, you know, any, you know, can't experience anywhere else. And so, I mean, Austin, we are really lucky to have this. Lucky you. Yeah, oh, oh, double lucky. Shameless plug. <laughs> Shameless. Yeah, so, yeah, um, you want to tell us anything more about this? Or is, I mean, it's, it kind of speaks for itself. It's really good. I'm a, Silky. Silky yeah. smooth and as creamy as can be. It's real, real, real good. So, um, Todd, how long have you been at Breckenridge? What do you do? 18 years I've been at Breckenridge. I'm the brewmaster, general manager okay. of the brewery. And... Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a right place at the right time. I was living up in Steamboat Springs and got involved with the founder of Breckenridge Brewery when they opened the brew pub up in Breckenridge, and um, things just kind of came together. I apprenticed under a brewmaster with Breckenridge the first few years and um, kind of moved more into a managerial role, and um, a lot of folks will know we opened up a bunch of brew pubs mm -hmm. and um, kind of pulled that back in, and, and all our stuff is now in Colorado, um, which is great. But, um, yeah, it's been, you know, most days are it's the best job in the world. It's fantastic. <laughs> Had a great ride with Breckenridge Brewery. Oh yeah. Um, so now you guys have the uh, you know you have the like, is that the original one that's in Breckenridge? It is. Right. And we still brew there. But um, the beer that's produced there is only sold over the bar, just on premise. We don't do any packaging, really, to speak of. Some specialty kegs, um, but that's it. All of our um, packaged beer and everything that we ship out into the 23 states that we're now distributed in all comes out of our Denver facility at 471 is in the IPA, 471 Calamus Street um, in Denver. So that's where I'm I'm located there in Denver, and that's where our place is. And they've got some good barbecue there, too. And they give a really good tour, also. And then you guys have the location uh, right across from the ballpark, right, downtown? We do. When we first moved to Denver, we brewed, we got up to 10,000 barrels of production at our Blake Street facility right across from Coors Field. We opened that in 1992 and then outgrew it. And in 1996, we opened the, the facility that we're in today. Um, but yeah, that one's still there. No brewing equipment there. There's a mill still there. Okay. An old 1910 mill that we got from Germany. That's still there, but that's it for brewing equipment. And it's just a pub, really a big, um, a big Breckenridge featured ale house across the street from the ballpark where the Colorado Rockies play, of course, right. yeah. Cool. Um, so uh, I guess real quick, your Christmas. I'm a big fan. Um, you want to tell me a little bit about it? Yeah, there's, I appreciate that again. And um, thanks for being so complimentary of our beers well uh, it says uh, uh i hate the caps uh, i'm objective <laughs> <laughs> christmas sale um i'm a big fan of beer tasting like beer and um i don't put any spice in it at all but i did want to make it special i wanted to make it something that you'd want to take a six-pack to a christmas party mm -hmm. and enjoy with friends over the holidays so i looked for spicy hops and I found, you know, in doing some doing some tastings and doing some different things, I decided on Northern Brewer and Mount Hood, okay, because they give it kind of a spicy character. Um, but otherwise, it's just a solid, solid, strong ale that we've worked on over the years. And um, you know, every year somebody says, "Oh, it's not as, quite as good as last year." Or, oh my God, this one's so much better than last year. <laughs> so it's amazing. The recipe hasn't changed that much, but we do tweak it from time to time, and um, it, it's become a cult favorite, especially in Colorado. Yeah, it's a good beer. I'm a big Christmas fan. Thank you. Um, yeah, so um, thanks, Todd. Uh, Thank you, Chris. Come out and try this. Uh, if you have ever had a, you know, a, a, a porter stout on nitro, you'll know that it's really, really good. And uh, we have it in Texas, right? It's like in Austin, so come and get it. Um, yeah, and the Lucky UIPA, very good, drinkable. Um, it's real good on draft. I haven't had it on draft yet, um, except for tonight. You saw me earlier. In the, in the past, I have, but no. So anyway, yeah, uh, thanks, Todd. Yeah. Appreciate, appreciate it. it. Yeah. And um, thanks. Cheers, Austin. All right.